Hey guys, welcome back to Wilson Area TV. I'm Joe and I'm here for another Transfer Daily Report where I'll be giving you updates to the latest transfer news and rumors going on at AC Milan. Now let's start off today with some updates on Axel Witzel as I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys want to hear more updates on him and on the whole situation. Now uh, once again, he's the oddest name in the list right now for Milan as they are pushing hard to sign him. Now that's at least what the reports are saying and speaking of reports, there are actually lots of reports with different sources suggesting different things. So today I'm pretty much going to be talking about these different reports and the sources reporting the different things. So let's take a look and let's start off with Milan news as they are reporting that Milan have asked Witzel and his agent if he's open to a move to Milan. Now his answer should arrive in the next few days. However, Zenit uh, has said that they want 45 million euros for the player. On the other hand, Calcio Mercato being of course another source have reported that Milan is ready to pay 30 million euros for the player and that he actually wants to join Milan. And finally, Mediaset and La Stampa instead reported that Milan is ready to offer 27 million euros. So not very far off from what Calcio Mercato reported with the 30 million euros, but still very far from what Zenit seemed to want, and that is the 45 million euros. So, of course, if Milan want to make some progress on the whole situation, if they actually want to find a deal, it seems like they're going to have to increase uh, their price, and, of course, of course, uh, they're going to have to find something in between the 30 and 45 million euros uh, that has been reported. Now, of course, Milan is not the only team here in the equation, as there are other teams that are interested in Witzel, specifically Chelsea, as they have been reported that they want to offer 25 million euros for the player. Now, I have a few questions to ask you guys, and I'm going to give you my take on it. First of all, is Milan's offer enough to convince Zenit? I don't think so. I think Zenit is actually going to demand more. He's one of the key players at Zenit, uh, even though he didn't have the best of seasons last season. He's still one of those players that is really wanted by many teams in Europe. And I think at the same time, they're not just going to give him away cheaply. They're more, if they want to give him away, they're going to, of course, look at all the options and probably the highest bidder will get him. So I think Milan's going to have to do better than that to convince Zenit. Is he worth the price? As I said, uh, he's a player that was really key at Zenit and he still is in this moment. He's a guy that could be... Uh, a good influence maker, a good uh, changer in any game that could definitely win you games uh, and could help you win your games at least. In that midfield, he's a player that we need in that midfield specifically. And of course, I would want him at Milan, but is he worth the price? I think so. I mean, if Milan was willing to spend uh, 30, 40 million on Condongbi or Jackson Martinez, they might as well spend it on Witzel, which I think still has a lot to prove for himself and to Europe. So uh, let me know what you guys think about Witzel. Leave in the comments section. And of course, uh, I'm, I'll am i be happy to hear what you guys uh, think about the player. Now, moving on. Contacts for Bertolacci are expected to continue over the weekend. Now, Milan has been consistently contacting uh, the player's agent. And of course, as I mentioned in the past few days, Roma have bought out the player. And it's a complete Roma player as we speak. So uh, Milan's going to have to talk with Roma and the agent for that. But as I said, more uh, details uh, and developments will be known during the weekend. Sport Italia is reporting that AC Milan are willing to offer Rami plus money for Carlos Baca. Now the 28-year-old Sevilla forward scored 28 goals in all competitions last season with Sevilla. Roma is of course the other team that has been following the player in the past few weeks. Now, I'm not really sure if Rami wants to leave after what he said on Twitter a few days ago that the reports were false. However, Corriere dello Sport reported that if the right offer comes to Milan, and that is around 6 million euros or more for Rami, uh, Milan will of course let him go. So we will see what would happen with that case. And finally, Corriere dello Sport is also reporting that Milan are considering to sign the 21-year-old Athletic Bilbao centre-back Emerick Laporte. Now, his buyout clause is 50 million euros. That is a lot, a lot of money. But he made 49 appearances for Bilbao this past season in all competitions. He's a player that is very young, uh, very solid in the back. 
if you want to watch some videos uh, of him, just go on YouTube, search some videos because you can literally see the skills that he has. He's a very fast player in ball recoveries. If he loses the ball, he's going to chase down the player until he gets it back. He's also a very last second split decision making guy. Uh, and he's very accurate in making them tackles. So that is exactly what we need in the center back position. The price is a bit too much. Uh, if you ask me, 50 million euros is a lot uh, for a 21 year old. But if you're willing to actually develop the player and keep him at Mila for a long time, being 21 years old, we also have to think for the future. So it wouldn't be a bad idea if we actually have the money. I don't think Milan's going to pay the 50 million uh, buyout clause. However, uh, you know, it would be nice if they kind of go for negotiations, maybe try to lower that price somehow. But uh, it's a, he's an interesting player, which I definitely recommend you guys to check out on YouTube if you get a chance. So that is it, guys, for today's Transfer Daily Report. Make sure to leave your comments, as I mentioned before. Let me know what you guys think about these players, what you think about Witzel or all the other names I mentioned. Leave in the comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Rolsonary TV to stay updated with everything AC Milan and, of course, our Transfer Daily Reports. Thank you for watching. This has been Gio signing off. And as usual, Forza Milan.